Hey YouTubers, are you like everybody else upside down in your own car? I got three suggestions that might help you turn that around. Stay tuned. Well here we are today we're going to talk about some things you could do to your car uh, to get some of the value back into it. And he, who knows, when you get done you might like it so much you decide to keep it. Okay so item one on my suggestion list is doing some minor updates to make your car feel new. I'm not saying go all out and spend a lot of money, but a few minor changes can go a long way on a limited budget. Let me explain what I'm talking about. I'm going to share with you some minor modifications that I've done to my son's pickup that have made a world of difference in its appearance and value. Grills are a major attention grabber on any vehicle. Take this boring black hood. Even after I matched the paint to the body, the truck didn't pop. $42 later, and a nice, simple, easy to install aftermarket chrome replacement changed everything. Sometimes it's cheaper to replace faded, cracked, or even broken turn indicators, headlights, and tail lights than to spend hours trying to repair them. I replaced the driver and passenger turn signal indicator covers for a total of $24 and they now match the new grill. Two screws on either side, and it's no more than a five minute job that really helps transform the front of this little truck. There's nothing wrong with modding these little trucks. However, when you only make a couple of changes, the effect is not what you probably intended to begin with, and it can actually hurt the value of the vehicle. A screwdriver, and you can remove the two screws that hold these lights in place. $52 going back to the original tail lights really worked for this truck and was worth the investment. Changes to the car. It's time to address the paint. It costs a lot of money, but for small nicks and scratches, you can save a lot of money with some touch up paint from the manufacturer. This touch up head for only about $16 at the local hardware store. Coming with a hard tip to clean the scratch if needed. It came with the paint applicator pen, and in the base was a nice clear coat application tip. And then you finish it up with a light wet sand, and the spot will polish up nicely with the rest of the car. Just value out of your car? They need to make it look like it's worth it. Things like replacing torn or worn floor mats. And if your seats are torn, some cheap seat covers will really help. I only paid uh, $17 for these, this set of two. you're finished on the inside, it's time to clean up the outside of the vehicle. Give your car a good wash and take the time to hand dry it, preventing water spots. To make this car shine like new, take the time to put a nice finish on the car using one of any number of finishing polishes that are out there available in the market. Lastly, don't forget the tires. And finally, we're going to do a general service. Bring the oil change, change your fluids, check your belts. Make sure the vehicle's in operational state. If you're going to sell it, you want them to test drive it. You want them to believe it's a good, strong, solid car. So there you have it. Those are my three suggestions for how you can improve the value of your vehicle and get more money if you try and sell it. So you be the judge. Which one looks better? Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to the channel and you'll get regular updates. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, i got a blogger post that you can follow us on. So we really appreciate your feedback. Give us comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time.